Hey there guys, Headphones Neil here, back with an Android app review, but in this case it's going to be an app that is also available for iOS or on the web, and it's an app that's called Down, uh, Down Detector. So what this service does, now that a lot of people will be staying home at least in the coming weeks due to the coronavirus, is tell you if a service that you're using is of, um, running or not. Um, I mainly also thought about this service because um, about approximately a week before the recording of this video, um, Twitter wasn't working on my internet connection at home, and I was curious as to what was going on, and um, going to Down Detector, I realized that um, Twitter was down for a lot of people in the area, so, and actually all, all over the place with this particular provider, so that was a little bit of comfort as to what was going on. So what you do once you install the app is, it's a pretty straightforward app, so let's say you wanna know if, let's say for example, you're curious just to, let's say I want, right now I wanna see if uh, Twitter is working on my connection, I do a simple search, I select Twitter, and I will see that it is, um, actually relatively working you can get a report map to see um, how it's going in your area you can see uh, what kind of people are reporting you whether it's the uh, website um, android app iphone app um, via an api things like that and you can also see um, user ratings for what trouble they're having and you can even leave your own uh, reporting if you want um, you can sign in based on a variety of options but you will see that uh, if you just want to get a general idea of what's working or not working, you have that feature. Um, you can also set various services to um, what they call a favorites list. So what happens here is when you do that, you can um, save your ver a variety of services to make sure that the service that you're using is working and have uh, quick access. So let's say you're always having a variety of different issues or let's say there's a um there's a very uh, there are certain apps that you and services that you always use and you always want to know are running then you can definitely find that out very easily so i do use um, youtube tv from time to time and it looks like there's a lot of people who are having uh trouble right now so um, no tweet information available, but it looks like um, random places it is, um, it was not working, but now it looks like it might be working and slowly coming back. So it's definitely an app that is very useful to use, whether or not there's a um, national or global crisis going on. Just if you want to see if a site is working or not, then um, Down Detector is the way to go. Um, so from there, um, you will notice that the um, so that the app does have um, ads. So w let's say you want to get rid of ads, or let's say you want to have um, outage alerts. For the outage alerts, you can either subscribe for one month at a time or um, for a year at a time. Um, if you want to, so if you go over to alerts, you'll see that you have to. Um, pay, um, subscribe to their service in order to get that feature but if you want to get alerts for services that you like that have gone down that is an option and if you want to remove ads for a year at a time that is also an option so a pretty nifty um, upgrade option if you so choose so that's really the bulk of the app and service um, that you can use and I do recommend installing it um, if you're uh, traveling or if you notice that your certain apps and services are going or working or not working or even if you get a new internet um, connection or a new device and you want to see if services are working or if it's your internet connection then Down Detector is definitely an app to use. So that's really all there is and you'll see that there are a number of um, services that are available for as part of their service. Um, I'm not going to say that it's an exhaustive list, but I will make the assumption that just about all the major services that are um, available out there that are connected to the internet should be something that you um, can search for and get a status on. So that's all there is for this particular service. So if you want to get in touch with me, you can find me on uh, Twitter at PatelN01. You can subscribe to the podcast um, to get the um, audio version of this episode in your podcast client of choice at pateln01.com 
And of course, the YouTube channel is youtube.com slash PatelN01. And of course, if you want to help support the show and get access to early content like this review and, or to get a heads up that this review is coming in and various hot takes for my film reviews and things like that, be sure to subscribe to the uh, Patreon at patreon.com slash PatelN01. But that is all for this particular review. Thanks for tuning in and until next time.